Sugiura. What happened with Kaito-san? Is he okay? Doctor said he'll be back on his feet in a few days. We took him to some back alley joint. Hush hush, you know? Didn't realize you had those kinds of connections. Actually, he was a friend of Kaito-san's. Sounded like they go way back. Couldn't you have just gone to a hospital? That's what I thought. Kaito-san was pretty insistent, though. Said he didn't have time to deal with a bullet in the gut. That's Kaito. How'd everything go with you? I heard the Cure Club burned down. Yeah, things were... tough. <laughs> Sounds like you could use some rest then. Heading out then? I just figured I'd stop by to tell you about Kaito-san. Now that I know you're safe too, I'm gonna go pass out at home. You do that. Good night. It's Mafio. Did I wake you up? You need something? The moles claimed another victim. Another Kyore clan Yakuza. What? Head to the Matsugane family office if you can. All right. I'll be right over. way. They've already ID'd the victim. Mafuyu. Satoshi Shioya, captain of the Kyore clan. You knew him, yes? Mm-hmm. If it was really the mole, that means his eyes have been gouged out? So I hear. I haven't confirmed it for myself. Better that you don't. <sighs> Who's handling the case? Kuroiwa again? Yes. He's right over there. Speaking of which, Yagami-kun, what happened last night? With the interrogation? Listen, Mafuyu. Hmm? It's Kuroiwa. He's the mole. <gasps> what? Apparently he and Hamura have been working together for years. At first, he was just a dirty cop. Not too different from Ayabe, I guess. But eventually he found murder was profitable. And that's not all. Shono from the ADDC is the one who's been hiring him to do his dirty laundry. And these corpses with their eyes gouged out? Human experiments, every one of them. All for AD9. <sighs> this won't end. I just confronted Shono the other day, said I was on to his insane tests, and now... 
There's a new body like nothing's changed at all. I can only see one way this shakes out. There's gonna be more deaths before this is all over. Even when he's this close to being all but caught, he's not gonna stop for anything. There's no doubt now. So now? Shono, he... He seems like this quiet, harmless scientist when you see him on the job. Except... 89 changes who he is. Makes the guy a monster. <sighs> Completing his drug will save millions. Not to mention their families. It would change the whole world. With all that power protecting Dr. Shono, he'd risk everything he has. It's us against anyone that money can buy. What are you going to do? Why not walk away? Wish I could. Matsugane-san's death can't go unanswered. He deserves closure. They won't get away with this. The Matsugane family and the Mole mount an assault, and the Kamurocho ambitions of the Kyore clan crumble. Betrayed by his inner circle, Hamura becomes a target himself, so he reveals to Yagami the Mole's true identity. He is Kamurocho's organized crime division detective, Kuroiwa. The man who took Matsugane's life falls under the shield of 89's powerful benefactors. They held his funeral at Tojo Clan headquarters. It was... an intimate service. The Matsugane family would have passed to Hamura, but with him missing, it was all but dissolved. It wasn't like he'd made much of an impact on the Tojo brass to begin with. But to Genda-sensei, he was an old friend of over 40 years. And then there was Kaito-san, who joined up after finishing middle school. And Higashi, too. When Kaito got expelled, protecting the boss became his personal mission. All of us knew exactly who was responsible for taking him from us. It was just a matter of finding the proof. Shintani's dead, killed by Ayabe, so they claim. This is the pre-trial conference for that case. Basically, we sit in here and hammer out the flow of the trial. Try to keep things as simple as possible for the jury, you know. According to the law, both the prosecution and the defense have to submit all their evidence before even going to court. You can't burst in mid-trial with new info like they do in the movies. We've been going in circles for a while now. We'll never get anywhere like this. 
You say that, yes. In other words, we need to make sure all our cards are in order, then show the other side our hand. The rifling marks on the bullet are unshakable proof of guilt. You really want to plead innocent with such a severe disadvantage? How does the defense respond? You can also bargain for a lesser sentence if you so desire. No. We still contend that Detective Ayabe was set up. Our stance remains unchanged. Seriously? So it was Kuroiwa all along. Everything makes sense now. Were there ever any warning signs? Nah. This might have nothing to do with it, but... I heard a story about the guy once. Go on. Back when he was starting out, his boss on the force was working as a Tojo clan go-between on the side. In exchange for kickbacks and whores, of course. Kind of shit you see every day in Kamarocho. But one day, that boss went and threw himself off a roof. Right when they were gonna haul him in, too. Guess some goody two-shoes on the force went and ratted him out. One of his own co-workers? Was it Kuroiwa? No. Funny enough, they found the snitch with a noose around his neck just a day later. So it was a double suicide? What the hell? From what I've heard, it's possible that hanging was actually a homicide. Maybe. Just maybe. Someone wanted revenge on the snitch. After the dust cleared, a new dirty cop had risen from the ashes. With his boss's connections and then some. He's been in bed with the Yakuza ever since. Turns out this guy's our top detective, too. And you're saying that's Kuroiwa? Hey, I'm just telling you what I heard. You're the one who asked about warning signs. Let's split up, Boshinokun. Sticking with me is just gonna put you in more danger. Come on, I'll be fine. I'm not a little kid. I know that. Either way, I'm done for today. Oh, okay then. I'll see you around, Yagami-san. Yagami-san. Hattori? Someone's got eyes on your place. Smells like it does when a journalist stakes out a shoot. How can you tell? Eh, I have a nose for these things. So, what do you want? Not me. Chairman Kajihira. He needs to know what's up with your investigation. Honmarwen's burnt to a crisp. Shioya-san's dead. The chairman is very interested to know what happened. No surprise there. <laughs> nice work. A police detective cum serial murderer. If you're telling the truth, there's a trail of death following 89 every step of the way. It all leads back to the human experiments. A patient Shono killed, Wakusan, Emi Terasawa, Hashki from the ADDC, Shintani, every single one of them. Maybe so, but without evidence, this is nothing more than a well-crafted hypothesis. Believe me, I know that already. All right, I've heard what you have to say, but Chairman Kajihira still wants to meet with you. I just told you everything I know. Then you can tell it to him, too. I'm little more than a messenger, after all. 
And if I refuse? Listen, Yagami-san. Chairman Kajihira isn't your enemy. He may even have details you wouldn't otherwise be privy to. I suggest you milk that for what it's worth. Oh, and put a good word in for me, huh? If you don't mind. <laughs> Are you free to meet now? You'll need to bring Kaito-san too, of course. It seems his bullet wound is almost fully healed. You really do know everything. What can I say? Comes with the job. Anyway, grab Kaito-san and head to Kikunoya. Kikunoya? I hear Patriarch Matsugane loved the place. Coincidentally, so does the chairman. Goodbye, Yagami-san. Yo, I'm gonna make some coffee. You want a cup? Hey, hey, aren't you supposed to be recovering? Uh, it's fine. Come on, drink with me. Well, if you say so. And by the way, Hattori just dropped by. The journalist? Yeah, apparently Chairman Kajihira is asking for us. What I hear? Kajihira's in a pretty tough spot right now. Hmm? Chairman Koba from the Kyorei clan's putting the pressure on. I mean, their Captain Shioya just got his eyes gouged out. Never would have happened if Kajihira hadn't shipped him up to Kamurocho. Yeah, I guess so. First, a couple of their rookies die in Kamurocho. Then a captain turns up dead. Chairman Koba is probably freaking the fuck out. Guess Kajihira's calling us to fix it then? Dunno. We'll find out when we get there. We? I'm sick of sitting around watching Kuroiwa, man. We're not getting anywhere with this shit. It's time we try something new. Hell, I'll do whatever it takes to avenge Matsugane-san. Damn right. Let's hit it. We going to Kikunoya? All right. Let's roll, talk. Welcome. I've been waiting for you. Long time no see. It's truly horrible what happened to Matsugane-san. Yes. To his memory. Chairman Kajihira. I assume you've already heard about 89? Yes. Hattori-san told me everything. The incident three years ago was a human experiment gone awry, huh? 
I'm impressed you figured that out. <laughs> Quite impressed. I heard about Shinpei Okubo, too. The murder you let loose upon the world didn't actually kill anyone. Yeah. Emmy died at the hands of Shono, the 89 researcher. I'm not so sure about that. Do you have any proof? No? If I did, I'd be making you eat those words. Come now. No fighting. My old heart can't handle the stress. Hold on a sec. If you already know what's going on, why'd you go and call us out here? What do you really want? Huh. You're sharper than you look. To be honest, I have a bit of a problem on my hands. Oh, yeah? The Curé Chairman Koba has been getting on my case. He wants me to put a button on all this murder business. Not that I can blame him. His successor just had his eyes gouged out after all. What's your point? I want you to bring an end to these killings. That detective, Karoiwa, is behind it all, right? What do you take us for, assassins? I have confidence that the two of you can do what I ask. What do you say? I'll give you a handsome reward. Yeah, I think we'll be going now. All right, all right. It was a joke. Though the Curé clan has been getting on my case. So you were half joking? <sighs> the real reason I called the two of you here was to say thanks in Hashki's place. Hmm? It must be frustrating for him to look down on this world just to see people say he died in a drunken brawl. But you saw through that false narrative. Once we have proof and crush 89 for good, he'll finally be avenged. And you'll finally make good on your 100 billion yen investment. Not that I care either way. <laughs> so, Yagami-san, what comes next? Well, Ayabe's trial is coming up, right? We'll use that stage to bring the real crimes into the spotlight. That'll also mean lifting the veil on 89. Hmm. Okubo will be in the clear, too. Interesting. I think you're still missing some evidence, then. You're not wrong. We don't know where Hamura is, either. Well, then, what now? I'm gonna keep going after Kuroiwa. Stay on his tail till I get a solid lead. You may be waiting a long time, then. He's not the type of man to slip up. I know. It'll take some time for sure, but there's no other way. I'm not sure you have the time you think you do. What do you mean? It won't be long until Shinpei Okubo is executed. What? So say my connections, at least. There's a top secret list stating which death row inmates are potential execution candidates for the near future. Apparently, Okubo is on that list. Once the Minister of Justice rubber stamps the execution, it's over. What? But why? Someone must have pressured the Ministry to put Okubo on the list. Damn it. If I don't do something soon, I'm gonna lose my chance forever. If it were me, I'd try going after an easier target than Kuroiwa. And who would that be? Look, this is an article of mine that got scrapped. Kido-san? Really? His womanizing ways are actually pretty well known. Guess he's really cut loose since they announced 89. Underneath the lab coat, he's nothing but a shameless pervert. If anything, he's the one we should be going after. No way am I getting into the ADDC, though. Not now. Eh, then you'll just have to lure him out. That's the only way to get a cautious quarry to leave its nest. And how are we gonna do that? Offer him a delicious meal. For Keto, that would be... a woman. A beautiful one, ideally. A 
a woman? woman? Well, that was the last place I expected to get any good advice. Yeah, he had a point though. Keto might be our best bet for evidence. Evidence that could reveal the truth about 89. We're gonna have to drag him out of the ADDC first. Hattori suggested seducing him to Kamrocho. A honey trap, huh? I guess it's time for Salri san to do her thing again. Yeah, I'll ask her tomorrow. Well, I'm all out of gas for tonight. See you tomorrow, man. on. Oh, Yagami-san. Sorry, son. Yes? I have another favor I want to ask you. Oh? Think you can handle it? Tell me what it is. You sure? Yes. All right, then. We need you to set a honey trap for Keto. A what? It's when you seduce a man to get information. And you're sure you want me? How could you ask her to do that? You can't be serious. Look, we need to get to Keto somehow. This is the best shot we have of luring him into Kamrocho. Don't be ridiculous. Asking her to be a hostess is one thing, but you can't make her sleep with that creep. Hold on there, Hoshino-kun. Isn't that what a honey trap is? I never said that. You don't have to listen to them, salary san I mean, just talking about this is practically entrapment. Not to be rude, but I asked salary san not you. Why do you care so much anyway? Because I care about her! Oh? You... what? Uh, no, I... I... I mean, I, I have a, a lot of respect for her as a co-worker. Well, that's enough of that. Yagami, you 
you're sure there'll be no risk to Saurikun? Absolutely. I have a plan. Which is what, exactly? I'll tell you once we get there. First, I need to know if you're in. It's what the investigation calls for. Sorry, son. I want to avenge Shitani Sensei's death, too. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Then we don't have time to lose. We? Since when was it we? If this is really what Saori-san wants, I'll do everything in my power to help her. Uh-huh. Oh, we'll need another makeover, right? I'll go this time. Mind if we use the same salon? Sure, but I was thinking she'd be a journalist this time, not a hostess. A journalist? Really? Think about it. Your mark is inside the ADDC, right? You'll be able to get him alone much more naturally if you go in asking for an interview. Uh-huh. And you'll need to dress the part. I'm talking high skirts and low cuts. That'll bring out the worst in any old lech. Now we're talking. I'll take that over a hostess any day. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I have some things I need to take care of. Can you head to the ADDC once you're done with your makeup, sorry, son? We'll meet there. Okay. See you soon. We should be going too, sorry, son. Let's get you that makeover. Right. Here we are, Saori-san. Hair Salon Cherry. I'm honestly a little nervous. Didn't I already do this when I was a hostess? Sure, but everything's different this time. Saori-san the journalist. An intellectual beauty. Classy, worldly. Oh, what guy wouldn't fall for that? Don't give me that look. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to stare. Anyway, I'm sure you'll be stunning no matter how much makeup you wear. And if I disappoint you? Well, that's just not possible. I hope you're right. knew it! Oh, you're a goddess, Salri-san. Just incredible. That off-limits allure, that mature aura. Are you going to stop soon? Sorry. I just... I got a little excited. Well, I'm ready to go. I can take it from here. So independent, too? Oh, sorry. I'll stop now. Well? Salri-san. Um, hmm? don't push yourself, okay? 
If things get dangerous, just run. Yagami-san said I'll be safe, though. Well, yeah, your life might not be in danger, but what if Kido tries to, you know, cop a feel or something? If that's what needs to happen, that's what will happen. What? But... I should be going. Sorry, son. By the way, Hoshino-kun. Yeah? Thank you for complimenting my makeup. It felt... nice. What? Hold on, sorry, son. Take this with you. It's a hidden camera. A what? See, this is the lens. Any footage it takes gets sent to my phone in real time. Here, wear this earpiece, too. I'll give you some conversation pointers while you're in there. Oh? Yeah. This time you'll need to be seductive with the words you say, not just your looks. So... You're going to give me tips, Yagami-san? I'd appreciate that. Wait, really? Of course. Knowing how to woo a man isn't exactly my specialty. Also, what happens after I seduce him? Once Kido starts coming on to you, we'll catch it all on the camera. Meaning there will be evidence of his sexual harassment? Yeah. Your job will be done at that point. All we'll need to do after that is use the footage to lure him to Kamurocho. Blackmailing, hmm? Think you can handle it? Don't worry. The more perverted things Kido does, the more he'll suffer later. Yeah, I guess. I'd rather keep his hands off of me as much as possible, though. That'll be on you and your direction, Yagami-san. Right. Anyway, you should head in. Can you hear me, Sari-san? First, you're gonna wanna go to the reception desk. Ask the lady there if you can interview Kido. Just make something up about wanting more details on 89. Sounds good. Welcome, ma'am. Do you have an appointment? No. I was wondering if Director Kido would be available for an interview. And you are? A freelance journalist by the name of Shirosaki. I wanted to speak with him about 89. I'm terribly sorry, ma'am. I can't let you in without an appointment. Oh, I see. In that case, um... Don't be afraid to press the issue, sorry, son. I, um... Director Kido is a very busy man. I'm sure you understand. It won't take long, I assure you. And I can wait if need be. Even so... Please, can I at least see Kido-san and ask him myself? I'm sorry, ma'am. We decline all requests without a prior appointment. Oh, I think I could make an exception for such a pretty girl. Huh? I'm Kido, the director of this center. I hear you want to interview me. Ah, uh, yes. My name is Shirosaki. Shirosaki-san, hmm? Come, I'll show you to my office. A beautiful woman like yourself deserves VIP treatment. Are you sure, sir? Thank you very much. Ugh, Kido-san. So he's not even trying to hide it. Not that I'm complaining. Please, come in. Wow, this is your office? It's breathtaking. I love how spacious it is. Oh, <laughs> no need to flatter me, though I do get quite a few compliments. Please, take a seat. Sorry, son. Put the camera on the table. You really must excuse me. I should have made an appointment instead of just showing up on your doorstep. Move it a little to the right. About 15 degrees. Perfect. 
Would you care for a drink, Shirosaki-san? Maybe a glass of brandy? There's one I found recently that's truly top shelf. Well, sure, I'll have some. It's a special occasion after all. Here you are. I think I'm going to enjoy this interview. Good job, sorry, son. Keep it up. To a wonderful interview. Yes, to the interview. Mmm. It's incredible. Really warms you up deep in your core, right? Yes. Undo another button, sorry, son. Huh? Is something the matter? Oh, uh, no, it's just getting a little toasty in here. Well, uh, <clears throat> yes, I am feeling warmer. Good going. He's taking the bait. Now then, <clears throat> what is this interview about? I want to know every little detail about you. <laughs> You're not here to discuss 89. You're more interesting than some stuffy old drug. I see. This is better than I was expecting. So, will you tell me, big boy? Well, there's a lot I could say. I, <laughs> I'm just not sure I should say it here. Huh? But it's just the two of us. You can do whatever you want. Oh, you're even more aggressive than I expected. <laughs> Not yet. Work comes first. <laughs> yes, I uh, suppose the real fun can wait until later. Well played, sorry, son. Now then. Uh, where were we? You should get this over with as quick as possible. Make your move, sorry, son. Hmm. In that case... Why don't you come over here and find out? Hmm? You're so adorable, Kido-san. <laughs> I could just eat you up. Uh... <laughs> you can be as loud as you want. Ah, uh, Well, whatever floats his boat, I guess. How's this? Just wonderful. I think that's enough photos for now. Alright, sorry, son. You're good. Wrap it up. How did they turn out? Oh, do you want to... Ah! You're right in the frame. This is a perfect backup. Stay strong, sorry, son. You've made me a very happy man today. Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. <laughs> well, um... How about dinner tonight? That's perfect. Draw them out. Okay. Let's do it in Kamarocho. Kamarocho? Um, how about somewhere else? I'd rather stay close by. Oh, I think I can convince.
loves you. Hmm. How so? You'll see. Is it just me? Or did Saurisan start getting weirdly into that whole thing at some point? Yeah, she was, uh... It's kind of scaring me towards the end. Anyway, you think Kido's actually gonna show? He'd be a fool not to. I just sent him the footage under Saurisan's name. Said we'd put it online if he didn't show. <laughs> Guess he doesn't have a choice then. Where'd you tell him to go? The batting center. Sugira and Higashi went ahead to keep an eye on the place. What's gotten into you, man? I don't know if I've ever seen you this organized. I can't afford to take my time with this. Okubo-kun's execution date is coming up fast. Yeah, good point. Come on, we should go. Let's hit it. Sugira. Hey, what's up? I'm bringing the van around. You see me? Hmm? There he is. Welcome aboard. Where's Higashi? Already inside. I haven't noticed anything weird out here. Kido should be showing up any minute. And what happens when he does? We'll shove him in the van and drag him over to Charles. What? Igashi's arcade? It's not like we had a lot of time to think about it. We'll interrogate him once we get there. Right, Yagami-san? Yep. And speak of the devil. Hmm. Surprised he actually showed. All right, let's move out. What are you doing here? Not sure what you mean. My agency is just a couple blocks away. It's strange to see you here, though. What brings you out to Kamurocho? <laughs> well, I... Maybe meeting a seductive journalist? I understand now. You're the ones behind all this. What will you do with that video? Nothing. If you give us what we want. What is it, money? No, we're after something else entirely. What are you going to do to me? We're just taking you for a little trip. No. No, I'm afraid you're not. Hmm? 
You forget. I'm a powerful man. Huh. Who are these assholes? Health Ministry thugs, if I had to guess. Huh. Do they have them all over the city or something? Delete that video, Yagami! Stay back! Don't come any closer! <laughs> Look where all that power got you. Nobody's running to help now. Not the ADDC, not the Ministry of Health. I've been waiting a long time for this moment. If you kill me, think what will happen to 89. Their research will come to a screeching halt! <laughs> Don't worry. Nobody's killing anybody. But I suggest you learn a little humility. I never said I wouldn't hurt you. Come on. We're out of here. Man, it's been a while since I did something like this. Feels good getting back in the group, you know? <laughs> you always did have a habit of stripping them down. Well, yeah. Everyone's the same underneath all this bullshit. Scientist, doctor, whatever. Listen here. It's not too late for you. But if you don't release me... You'll have your assassin hunt us down? I'll take extensive legal action against you. Huh, who knows what'd happen if you did that. I might accidentally let that video loose to the press. <sighs> what? If that doesn't sound good to you, start talking. You're gonna tell us everything you know about 89. <sighs> I'm ready when you are, man. Or Why me? What do you people want? Who are those guys at the batting center? Well, I... <laughs> you mentioned how powerful you are. Did you hire them to protect you? <sighs> Out with it already. Quit acting like you got any goddamn dignity. You've made me a very happy man today. Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. Who would have thought the scientist who was gonna save the world would have turned out to be some pervy asshole? Your name's gonna go down in history if this gets out. And not how you're hoping. Stop. I'm begging you, please! Who were those thugs at the batting center? Hitmen. 
on the Ministry of Health payroll. Ichinose's payroll, in other words. That's right. I think you mean, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ichinose-san knows I've been abducted. More of them could rush in here any minute if you don't release me. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, we've got this whole fighting thing pretty down by now. <sighs> Next question. It's about what happened three years ago. <laughs> huh? An Alzheimer's patient at the ADDC by the name of Wakusan was murdered. His body found buried far out in the mountains. At the time, Shinpei Okubo was thought to be the killer. But the truth is, it was an unforeseen consequence of 89, which Shono had administered to this Wakusan. You knew, didn't you? What? Cat got your tongue? Guess you're about to become internet famous then. <laughs> Wait! Answer me, Kido! Yes! I knew. Who told you? When? How? I'm sorry. I can't say any more than that. If I did, I... Please, just give me some time to figure things out. Time's one thing I don't have. Shinpei Okubo's about to get executed for a murder he didn't commit. What? I need to get every last bit of information out of you right here. I'll even resort to torture if I have to. Torture? You'd break the law over this? What? That doesn't sound fun to you? Of course not! Then start talking! <laughs> Nobody's gonna come help you now. I'll give you a chance to think it over. You better be ready by the time I come back. Kido's already a broken man. My guess? At this point, he's just desperate to save his own skin. Yeah. I guess so. Maybe you should take a breather. I'm sure giving Kido some time to stool will make him realize talking's the only option. We'll keep an eye on him in the meantime. Thanks, Sugira. I appreciate it. Hey, even a guy like you needs to take breaks. You've been up and out all freaking day. Good to go, Yagami-san. Kido's had enough time to think. Ready to talk yet? We're waiting. <laughs> yes. Three years ago, Shono killed a patient by experimenting on him with 89. When did you find out? Right after the press conference. The one where we announced 89 to the world. Shono told me himself. Just thinking about it makes my blood boil. Even after all this time. I have some concerns about 89. At the moment, it's only effective on mice. I'm well aware of that, yes. But I'm confident it will work on humans, too. No. I'm afraid you're mistaken. What's this now? We just had a fantastic conference. This is no time for doom and gloom. Just sit back and try to relax. You deserve it. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, Ichinose was thrilled with what he saw. 
One day we're almost getting shut down, the next we have a massive budget. And if you can make consistent progress, AD-9 will head to clinical... At this stage, I'm afraid clinical trials would be inadvisable. If we try, all the test subjects will die. Are you sure? How can you say that with such confidence, huh? Shinpei Okubo was actually innocent. What? Innocent? Why are you bringing this up now? The court ruled correctly. Waku-san, his murder didn't play out like you think it did. The real cause of death was none other than 89. What do you mean? That murder was... It was a secret clinical trial for 89. I gave him the injection personally. <gasps> you did what? Please, I... I had to take this opportunity. The whole world is waiting for this cure. But when I injected him, he let out the most horrible scream. These hands covered his mouth. I tried to make him shut up. Which means you... You're a murderer. <laughs> How could you be such a damn fool? What are we going to do? Shono, I just spent the entire afternoon talking up your drug to the press! With my goddamn name on the research! If you hadn't held that press conference, the ADDC would have been done for and you- Why didn't you tell me this before? I needed you, Dr. Kido. I couldn't let the center get shut down. The AD-9 project would have been terminated. But you know... This has been my entire life's work, ensuring that AD-9 would save the world. <sighs> this whole thing is preposterous. I'm going to the press! There's no need for that. Huh? Don't you understand, Director? As long as we finish AD-9's development, there won't be any issues. Your name will go down in history as the man who saved the world. Not to mention the money. But if you really insist on revealing the truth, both of our careers would go down the drain. And you have more to lose, Director. Shono, you're mad. Is that all Shono told you? There's gotta be more. <laughs> Wakusan wasn't the only person Shono killed, was he? No. He needed Shinpei Okubo to take the fall. And murdered Emi Terasawa to accomplish that. So you did know! Hey! <laughs> Save it, Sugira. We're not done yet. What happened next, after Shono killed Emi? <laughs> Don't you already know? You had Hashki murdered. I didn't! It wasn't me! Hashki was digging around, trying to find something wrong with 89. You and Shono didn't like that too much. But you needed some help to take care of him. Someone else who wanted to protect 89. That person was... Hamura from the Matsugane family. Hmm? No. Exactly. In that... 
Ichinose. <gasps> the guy who founded the ADDC made it a place all the old guard ministry execs could retire to. Yes. Shono and I went to Ichinose-san and pleaded with him to help us. After all, he's known for being well-versed in political matters, both above board and otherwise. So, we told him everything. About Wakusan dying in the experiment, about Emi Terasawa, every last detail. Without hesitation, Ichinose-san agreed to help us with the cover-up. According to him, protecting AD-9 was top priority. Hence why he decided to silence Hashki. Ichinose-san knew he was Kajihira's spy from the start, and acted accordingly. Meaning he's the one who first dragged Hamura and Kuroiwa into this bullshit. Real barrel of fucking monkeys. With Hashki out of the way, all that was left for us to do was complete 89. But we realized something. If we entered clinical trials and another patient died, our dream too would be dead. The ADDC would be no more. And all our sacrifices would have been for nothing. Your sacrifices? How can you say that with a straight face? You're not the ones who died for some bullshit drug! <laughs> Go on. Through all my hesitation, Shono kept pushing. Aggressive to a damn fault. He said we couldn't be afraid of failure if we really wanted to finish 89. That we needed to keep experimenting until we succeeded. He also said the only way to speed up development was to keep conducting clinical trials in secret. Shona was adamant about that. Why? Think about it. If we could hide the fact that our subjects were dying, we could continue experimenting despite the risks. In order to do so, we needed a way to quickly procure and discard test subjects. With that, it would only be a matter of time until AD-9 was complete. And those test subjects were the Kyore clan men. Ichinose-san listened to every single one of Shono's requests. My only role in all of this was obtaining the funds required. And so, money flowed into the ADDC from the Ministry of Health. Money which I gave to Shono, allowing him to build a secret lab in Kamarocho. A... Uh, what? It's where he carries out all of his human experiments. Huh? Where exactly is this lab? I'm not sure of the specific location. I... Try not to come between Shono and Ichinose-san unless absolutely necessary. So that lab is where all the killings happen, where those Kyori guys were slaughtered. If anywhere's gonna have evidence, it's there. You sure you don't know where it is? Detective Kuroyo, I would, of course. He's not as talkative as you, though. In that case... There was another person involved in setting up the lab. Who? A subordinate of Ichinose-san. I believe his name was Ishimatsu. I've heard that name before. He was the middleman between Hamura and Shono. Where's this Ishimatsu guy? In Kamurocho. There's a Ministry of Health office up in the Millennium Tower. Apparently, he'll be in tonight. Wait, the Millennium Tower? That's where they oversee Shono's secret lab. Nobody knows the office is there. 
The sign out front even has a different name. They really got a place like that? Well, Ishimatsu knows where the lab is, yeah? This'll be easy. <laughs> Just gotta strip him down and force him to talk. Hold up. I've got a better idea. Hmm? First, we give this Ichimatsu guy some kind of reason to go to the lab. Then we just follow him from the Millennium Tower. Not bad. Ichimatsu himself will lead us straight there. But how are we gonna get him to go? Well, we'll, uh... We'll get our buddy Kido here to give him a call. Huh? Say something about how we're closing in on the lab. Tell him you need him over there to stand guard. You know, that might just work. And what? You think I'll just agree to this? You better. If you don't want to spread in your little video, that is. <sighs> that settles it then. What does Ishimatsu look like? Uh, he's in his fifties. Always wears a gray suit. A sh short man. Not that much over five feet. Ah, ah and he always wears gloves. That could be any regular-ass old dude in this town. Anything else? There may be photos of him on the internet. You seriously telling us to just search him? Yes. Er, well, not exactly. Try looking up Vice Minister Ichinose. Ishimatsu might have ended up in a photo of his at some point. Hmm, gotcha. Could take a while, but I should be able to find something. Kaito, Higashi. Mind hanging back here with Kido? Sure. What about me, then? You get to tail Ishimatsu with me. You're good at that kind of stuff, right? Guess so, yeah. Well, let's head to the Millennium Tower. Be safe, you two. I'll send you a shot of Ishimatsu once I've got one. Great. Let's move out. going?